Hi everybody, so what we're going to do today is I'm going to give you a quick overview of Megamet. Um, it's a program that I required you to purchase for this quarter, and we actually will be using it for the rest of the sequence, so it will come into play next year, so don't worry about that. Um, this video is going to show you how to get like function with Megamet, and also how we can use Megamet in this class for participation exercises. Um, so I'm recording this uh, in preparation for your week three videos. So um, in week three, you will have a participation assignment that is sending me a Megamet file, and I'll kind of talk about how that works. So I posted the link before. Um, if you just go to, uh, I believe it's just simply megamet.com, you can purchase it. It's $40 one time, and you can have the program forever. Now, the program is a little, um, shall we say, old school. Um, and the way that it does your personal, um, the way that it does your licensing is, is kind of interesting. So how this works you can see that I've got Megamet installed up here. Um, I've put my Megamet backup folder here. You can put it wherever you want. But the reason why I have it here is because how Megamet works is anybody can download Megamet, but what you're paying for with your $40 is access to this right here, which looks the same, but this is actually a file. Um, this is my personalized Megamet file. Um, so um, you could either click on the Megamet link to open it or just click on the file to open it. And what this does is, is let me show you what it looks like if I just open up the program. So when you open up Megamet, you can see it's, it's basically the same web interface for 20 years. Um, so if you open up through the file, you'll have to locate where your, um, you'll have to open up where your file is. So I can see, I can scroll down here and open it up this way, okay? Um, you can just click OK. Um, I wouldn't ever really change the presets. And if you just hit no, it'll just close the program. So you go ahead and hit OK. And you open up. So every time you open the gamut, it'll play you that MIDI just to make sure that your sound drivers are working and that everything's um, squared away for that. So go ahead and click OK. And then from here, you can see that we have a bunch of different options here. Uh, but before I get into that, let me go ahead and just show you um, if you open directly from your file. So Megamet will send you this when you purchase Megamet. They'll send this to you. Um, I didn't rename it, but you could probably rename it. Um, if you just open directly from there, you skip that process, and it just goes right into um, beginning the program. So it'll take a second. Click OK. Hear the MIDI again. Then click OK. OK, so now that we're here, the reason why we had you purchase Megamet is because um, in other Auto Skills programs, including ones that um, I've been a part of before, um, in addition to your Rogers and Ottman, your sightseeing book, we would make um, students purchase an additional textbook that has usually an online component where you can um, do a bunch of practice dictations. Um, we have not decided to do that. Um, I go back and forth. There's far better resources than this, but the one that I used in undergrad was like 200 bucks for basically just an empty book of sheet music and access to an online portal. So um, normally we try to give you a bunch of dictation exercises and I'll make you homework this dictation um, for that reason so we don't have to give you this. But in this particular circumstance with where things are going right now, we do need some extra practice that I just can't facilitate. So Megamet's great for that. So as you can see, we've got different categories here. You can practice your intervals, your scales, your chords, rhythmic, melodic, and harmonic dictation. So for our purposes, these three, rhythmic, melodic, and harmonic, are going to be our most significant. So let me go ahead. Let's open up harmonic, because I think the best practice you're going to get for this is going to be through your harmonic dictation module. But of course, if you need more melodic dictation practice, it's there too. So open up harmonic dictation. Now notice everything's grayed out for right now, okay? because we're in regular mode. So how regular mode works for any of these modules is that regular mode, think of them as like quizzes. So if I were to start this, it would take me, um, I believe it's either six or eight different dictations, and I have to pass them in order to um, move on and unlock the next level. However, what you can do is you can switch to practice mode and just skip around to anywhere, okay? So um, what I'll be doing, um, again, this is in preparation for your week three video. In week three, I'll be having you get through the first six modules because this is all should be pretty much review. So notice that it's just five, one in major, five, one in minor, four, five, one in major, four, five, one in minor. That's all old news. And then here we go. Then we have um, three chord major progressions and th uh, three chord minor progressions. And that opens up a bit to what our possibilities are, where by the end of this quarter, we want to get through module 10. Okay, so this week we'll be getting through module six, which is kind of review. We'll push forward to seven and eight sometimes throughout the quarter. And then we'll end the quarter at nine and 10. Okay, so that's, you can practice those at any time. But here's regular mode. So um, I'm just going to open this up and quickly fail one. Okay, so here we go. So um, so notice um, what you can do is you can play down here. You get limited plays. Okay, so notice that it says you have three hearings left. 
and you get you have to do ten of these, and you have to get um you have to get eight of ten of them correct. Okay, um, although it says eight of ten at least eighty five percent, which doesn't quite make sense. In any case, um, so what you'll be doing for your uh, your first assignment for this is just getting through these extra modules, which should be pretty much review. So you can see you'll play it. So, um, these are a bit longer than the ones that we do, um, so uh, it'll take a bit of practice to get used to it, but notice it's only looking for your soprano and your bass, so it's just like what we've been doing. Um, you can enter notes wherever, you can then lower them, and so on. Um, if you want to erase something, you have to go to the erase tool and then click the erase tool, and so on. And then here, notice we don't have these chords yet, but you know you can do one, Five, you can say, I don't know, if it's a one six, for instance. And then what you can do is then you can go ahead and go to check answer down here. And look, it's completely wrong. Okay. Um, it also wants you to note your bass pitches. You want to complete the harmonic analysis for those four chords, etc. cetera. So um, you, again, you don't get a lot of listens. So this will be a bit of a steep learning curve at first. Um, but honestly, if, if just to get kind of into the, the swing of things, if you want to have your computer... Um, record it so you can have more multiple listens or have your phone out or what have you go for it and then also notice that you've got a keyboard down here so you've got some options there if you don't have access to a keyboard or your own instrument okay so there's other options here you can play around with but in any case um, that's it so you can also change the tempo okay it only gets faster unfortunately you can't get lower in the um, uh, when you're doing the regular mode but in practice mode you can go slower um, you can do some other changes here in practice mode. Sound, you can play around with what the sound sounds like. You can raise the volume, etc. And then finally, there's help on what the different aspects are. So hopefully that's that's pretty clear. Um, and it won't let me exit because it's in regular mode. So I'm going to just go ahead and hard quit. Okay, no, no thank you, McGammit. I want to quit. Okay, I'm just going to put a bunch of nonsense. Because it won't let me out. It won't let me escape. There we go. Okay. Oh, look, horrible. It's totally wrong. Boom. Okay. So, um, the reason why um, this is useful for our class and how I can grade you on this is that because McGamut has these files, and the file is what all of your information is based on, so careful not to delete it, okay? Um, your file is where all of your data gets saved. So, when you achieve mastery in certain areas, that's where that information goes to. So, if you go to get stats, it doesn't save your practice mode data. But if you go to, it, but stats, auto training, you can see what your current levels are, okay? And I can see, for instance, I haven't done harmonic or melodic yet. I haven't really played around with this. Um, it shows you how many times you've attempt, attempted, um, see? It shows you how much time you've spent, and this is only for regular mode, but what I'm concerned with is not necessarily this information here, but um, I'm gonna be, whenever I assign something, I just wanna make sure that you've gotten up to the correct mastery level, okay? So for this first time, it'll be for harmonic, the second time it'll be for melodic and so on. So um, there's other modules you can play around with if you need to, but this is how I can check because notice it's Tanner Cassidy right now. When you send me in your files, I can just open up on the gamut your file and open up your stats and figure it out this way. So whenever I assign the gamut work, um, as if you were going to, um, no thanks. Okay. Um, so, um, Whenever you can just attach this file to an email to me. So that's what I'll be having expected when um, my gamma stuff is designed. Uh, you can also keep backups. So notice I've got a backup here from a little while ago. Um, notice that you can keep a backup um, just in case you ever lose this file. Okay. But yeah, really try to keep this in a safe spot and to not delete it. Um, I know that this is kind of an old school program. So, you know, I apologize for that. But this is, it, it's fairly robust despite how kind of its appearance is. And um, what's also nice about McGammon is that it is relatively inexpensive. I mean, $40 is a drop in the bucket compared to other oral skills textbooks that have an online component um, that can get really expensive really quickly. So um, if you have any questions, feel free to email me. If you have uh, trouble getting McGammon installed or something like that, I can try to work with that for you too. Um, and, you know, hopefully $40 won't break the bank. There is a way to get around. There's ways to work around this, but I think it would be in all of our best interest to just purchase this program 
because we'll use it for the next, including this quarter, the next four quarters. Okay, so um, it will stick around and it will continue to be useful even after this class. So um, hopefully that clarifies some things. Um, there's nothing to assign or anything from this video. This is just entirely for your information for McGamut. And um, I'll be posting your videos for uh, week three shortly.